वेलकम टू इंजीनियरिंग फंडा फैमिली दिस वीडियो इज अ पार्ट ऑफ नेटवर्क थियरी लेक्चर सीरीज एंड इन दिस वीडियो आई बी गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू फोर वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग क्वेश्चन बेस्ड ऑन ग्राफ थियरी सो लेट अस सी द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन हियर सो इफ यू ऑब्जर्व इन क्वेश्चन यू कैन सी फॉर अ ग्राफ विथ एन नोड्स एंड बी ब्रांचेस टोटल इंडिपेंडेंट करंट एंड टोटल इंडिपेंडेंट वोल्टेजेस इक्वेशन आर हाउ मेनी so my dear students you should know when we talk about total number of voltage equations then that will be n minus 1 so as if you have n number of nodes then total voltage equations with any graph that will be n minus 1 and as if you want to identify total independent current equations then that will be total number of branches minus number of nodes plus 1 so total current equations will be number of branches minus number of nodes plus 1 so these are the basics that you must remember for graph theory whenever you want to identify how many equations are there with voltage then that will be number of nodes minus 1 and total current equations means you can say fundamental loop current equations that will be total branches minus nodes plus 1 now let us have second question so here in second question the number of equations to solve for v1 and value of v1 r so if you observe this graph in that you see here we are having one node v1 and second node that is over here and you can say this is ground over here so this circuit is having two nodes so how many equations are required number of nodes minus 1 so there is a need of total one equation to solve value of voltage v1 so total one equation is required to solve this v1 now let us solve v1 so if you observe this circuit in this see this three resistors are there in parallel so if i consider one resistor instead of this three then that will be 1 by r that is equals to 1 by 12 plus 1 by 6 plus 1 by 12 as per parallel connection so i can say 1 by r that will be if you take 12 as lcm then 1 plus 2 plus 1 that will be 4 by 12 so i can say r is equals to 12 by 4 means 3 ohm so now instead of this three parallel resistor i can connect one resistor with value r and the value of this resistor is 3 ohm that i have calculated for this parallel connection now my dear students how to identify v1 so v1 is voltage across 3 ohm resistor so here 60 voltage is connected so that will get divided in between 7 and 3 so voltage across 3 ohm as per voltage divider that will be total voltage 60 into the resistance across which we measure voltage so that is 3 divided by total resistance that is 7 plus 3 so this will be 60 by 10 means 6 into 3 that will be 18 voltage so here we just need to solve one equation to get the value of voltage v1 let us have third question here so in third question the minimum number of equations required to analyze the circuit shown in the figure is how much now whenever you have this type of question in which you are dealing with to find minimum number of equations then remember my dear students you will have to identify minimum current equations right the reason is nodal analysis cannot identify the value of all the currents right so for that you will have to identify current equations so here we are dealing with to identify total current equations required for this circuit so basic formula for that i have already explained that is number of branches minus number of nodes plus 1 now my dear students here voltage sources that should be short circuited so you don't need to consider this voltage source when you solve graph so here total number of elements that will be total number of branches 
so here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 7 branches are there and now we need to see how many nodes are there so you can observe here 1 2 3 4 and 5 total 5 nodes are there but here I have seen students are doing this mistake by considering this and this as separate node. You see this voltage source is short circuit. So here this node is common node. So total there are 4 nodes right. You can say this is 1. So this is also 1 as this voltage source is providing short over here and this is second node, this is third node and this is fourth node. So here total 4 nodes are there plus 1. So, you can say this will be 4 equations which is there for analysis of this circuit and those are current equations. Let us have one more question. So, here if you observe a reduced incident matrix of a graph is given over here. The number of possible trees are how many? Now, here if you observe it is written as per reduced incident matrix. So, whenever you have been given with reduced incident matrix, then total possible trees that will be determinant of AR into AR transpose. And sometimes you might be observing it may not be reduced incident matrix. See, in reduce incident matrix you will have to remove one row from incident matrix and that even we can cross verify you see here column wise summation should be 0 for incident matrix so here it is 0 here it is 0 here it is 0 here it is 0 but you see here minus 1 and plus 1 is required and here minus 1 is there so plus 1 is required so i can say here one row is not available that's why this is reduced incident matrix. So, simply by calculating determinant of AR into AR transpose, we can identify possible number of trees. Now, my dear students, I have already told you, you should know the shortcut method to identify this AR into AR transpose. So, this AR that is 3 cross 6 matrix. So, AR transpose will be 6 cross 3 matrix. So, multiplication of that two will be 3 cross 3 matrix. So, I can say there will be total 3 cross 3 means 9 elements. Now, whenever you identify this elements at that time you see how to calculate that. So, for this first element you will have to multiply first row with first row. So, just count number of ones as minus 1 into minus 1 that will be plus 1 and this 1 into 1 that will be plus 1 this will be also 1 into 1 that will be plus 1 and this is minus 1 into minus 1 that will be also plus 1. So, total 4 multiplication will be there with first row with first row. Now, when you want to identify this element at the time you will have to multiply second row with second row. So, 1, 2, 3, 3 will be this element as you multiply second row with second row. Now, when you want to calculate this element at that time you will have to multiply third row with third row. So, that is 1 plus 1 plus 1. So, that will be 3 again. Now, my dear students when you want to calculate this element. So, at that time you will have to multiply first row with second row. So, minus 1 into 1 that is minus 1 plus this is 0, this is 0, this is 0, this is 0 and this is 0. So, total it will be minus 1. Now, when you want to calculate this element at that time you will have to multiply first row with third row. So, minus 1 into 0, this is also 0, this is 1 into minus 1 means minus 1, this is 1 into minus 1 means minus 1, so minus 1 minus 1, minus 2 is there, then again 0, again 0. So, minus 2 that will be this element and as if you want to calculate this element, then that will be multiplication of second row with third row. So, that is so, you see 1 into 0, then minus 1 into 1, so that is minus 1, then 0, 0, 0, 0, so this will be minus 1. Now, you do not need to calculate these elements as AR into AR transpose is always symmetric. So, this minus 1 that will come here, 
this minus 2 that will come here and this minus 1 that will come here. So, this is our AR into AR transpose. Now, we just need to find determinant of this. So, that will be 4 into 3 into 3 9 minus minus 1 into minus 1 that will be 9 minus 1 and then minus minus 1 means plus 1 into minus 1 into 3 and minus minus 1 into minus 2. So, that is minus 2 then minus 2 into minus 1 into minus 1 minus 2 minus 2 into 3. So, that will be plus 6. So, I can say this is 4 into 8 32 and this is minus 5 and this is minus 14. So, here if you calculate this you will be getting 13. So, total 13 number of possible trees will be there with given reduced incident matrix. Now, my dear students, I will give you one question in homework. So, in homework question, here if I give you one matrix which may be incident or reduced incident, over here you see in which I am just changing the value of these two coefficients which are 1 and for that you will have to identify total number of possible trees and I want you to write your answer in comment box. So, I hope you have understood this how to identify total number of trees from incident or reduced incident matrix and based on total number of branches and nodes how many voltage equations are there. So, that will be n minus 1 means total number of nodes minus 1 and how many current equations are there. So, that will be total number of branches minus total number of nodes plus 1. So, that is what the essential key point of this video. I hope you have understood this. Still, if you have any query, you just place that in comment box. I will be happy to help you. Thank you so much for watching this video.